clams are a, a, tr a traditional sustenance for Coquel and Coos people and uh, most people, most tribal people on the west coast. Anytime the tide would go out, very easy to go out and if you know what you're looking for, you can dig up uh, large amounts of clams so that you can, you can feed uh, your family or your extended family or the tribe with. I think there's about seven or eight different types of clams here just in this area. Exercising those that ancestral right to gather uh, traditional food helps exercise our what we call a, a food uh, sovereignty. Uh, there was a time of termination when uh, our tribal people here were terminated as a matter of convenience to the federal government. They did not want to fulfill their obligations to us as Indian people because it was more it was less expensive. Say, you're no longer Indians. But after that happened, the tribes fought uh, all the way up till 1989 and we're restored in June and uh, we like to celebrate that every year and hopefully the youth will be able to dig clams for that event so they can feed all of the tribal members that show up as well as the guests. Today we're making a traditional clam shovel out of wood. The ultimate goal is to get youth to be able to feel empowered that they can make something and then potentially use it to dig clams and hopefully perpetuate a, um, a lifestyle that we have here in Coos Bay and that was a part of our ancestors' uh, lifestyle as well. To continue to dig clams, learn how to clean them. Nowadays with all the technology, you know, everybody wants to be on their PlayStation or their cell phone and, you know, people don't realize that gathering is not just about gathering the food. It's about being able to socialize with people. Thousands of years ago, it wasn't like we all went home and had dinner at our own little houses. You know, we ate all together. And if we didn't work together, then we all couldn't have a prosperous meal. Most of the time, the kids totally understand that, you know, it's not like we're hoarding this and we're taking it home for us. You know, it's for everybody. So and that's the most important thing. My goal is for eventually for the tribal youth of today to take that over.